What is Atlassian Intelligence and how is it different than Robo? Let's talk about this. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out those links down below as I have links to my paid courses, my free courses, my merch store, my book, and so many other things that are available specifically one-on-one -on -one time if you need it. What exactly is Apple Intelligence and how is it different than Robo? Well, first, let's start off by defining Atlassian Intelligence. Atlassian Intelligence is embedded into existing Atlassian products like Jira, Confluence, Jira Service Management, and many more. Now, this augments the Jira experience. If you have the premium version of the products that I just mentioned, you will have, naturally, assuming your company turned it on, Atlassian Intelligence. And Atlassian Intelligence is there to accelerate your productivity within the Atlassian ecosystem. And these are some of the things that it can do. It can help you find insights from your team's knowledge, right? So it can help you find things. You can talk to it in natural language and it's gonna go find data in Confluence or it's gonna go find data in Jira to help answer the questions that you give it. So think ChatGPT, but within the context and information that you and your team put in either your Jira tickets or your Confluence pages and so on. So very, very powerful from that perspective. But it does so much more. It can help you find issues. It can give you some development insights. It can help you with incident detection. Um, it also helps you accelerate your work by helping you create tickets. It can decompose work, which we'll talk about in a second, but it can summarize information for you. It can help you write, as it can help you with brainstorming, with idea generation, with fixing your the tone, spelling, grammar. Um, it's, it's pretty powerful from that perspective. Um, it just really, really is there to help be uh, an extension of you and the easiest way to describe Atlassian Intelligence is, again, to think about it as ChatGPT, but within either Jira or Confluence, where it's this generative AI that is just helping you be a better person. Now, let's contrast that against Atlassian Robo. So first off, Atlassian Robo is a separate product. It will interact with Jira and Confluence and all the other tools, but it is its own licensed product that is on the side. It's an additional subscription that you and your company need to do. And the easiest way to think of Atlassian Robo is think of it like AI powered automation rules. It is so much more powerful than automation rules, but you have to build Robo agents. And Robo is gonna be great if and when Atlassian gives us some examples, some real world examples. Right now it's currently in beta and it is quite expensive, but uh, Robo is essentially going to help your companies do some really, really cool stuff. Now, what I like, what the thing I'm most excited about Robo is right here. Stop searching and start doing. What makes Robo powerful is that it can connect with not only Jira and Confluence, but with the rest of the tools that you and your IT organization are utilizing. And when you ask Robo something, the bounds of it are not just constricted to Jira or Confluence. It can go across the entire IT stack. And so it can go out to SharePoint, it can go to Microsoft Teams, it can go out to your GitHub, and it can find information to the questions that you have. So this is the problem that makes Robo really, really enticing. But this is also why Atlassian can get away with charging a lot of money because that return on investment that that um, how much value you're going to get out of Robo versus Atlassian intelligence, right? It's just completely different. And so I highly recommend you check out Atlassian intelligence at a minimum, because if you're on cloud premium or enterprise, you most likely already have Atlassian intelligence in your Jira instance. But keep in mind that Robo will be a separate purchase, something that most companies don't even have. And Robo will work whether you have standard, premium, or enterprise, because again, it is a standalone product, but it's still a pretty cool product that I'm excited to see. And hopefully, maybe at Teams 25 in April in 2025, Atlassian gives us a little bit more concrete examples of how this works. But for right now, it is a beta. I've seen a couple of demos. I'm still going to stick with Atlassian Intelligence for now because it's just bundled already with my Jira. And I'm not ready to give Atlassian $24 per user per month. So that's it for this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. It's totally free to you. Like 99% of you don't subscribe. I don't know why, but it does help the channel grow. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like, share this video. And most importantly, I got links in the description, specifically a link tree. 
So if you have any questions, if you want some one-on-one -on -one time, I got 15 minute, 30 minute, hour long increments, more if you need it. I got a merch store. I got paid courses, free courses. I have a book and so many other different ways that you can help support this channel and other ways that I can help support you. So check out that link down below and I'll see you in the next one.